y'all, it's Jessica Ray Plays, and welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to be playing with a new game pack that came out, the Sims 4 Dream Home Decorator? Is that what it's called? I don't know. <laughs> Here recently, I have been dying to go back to my roots and play the game kind of vanilla. And when I say kind of vanilla, there's some things obviously that I cannot give up, like MC Command Center, MC Woohoo, UI Extension Cheats, obviously some eyelashes, and a little bit of a Maxis Match overlay for the skin, because let's face it, EA skin is very much lacking when it comes to like the smooth texture that I like and everything else. And obviously we cannot forget my boo boo blush that I put on every single sim. So, without further ado, I actually have two Sims right here to show you guys. So we have Miss Kinley K, who's right here looking so gorgeous. And next up is Billy Mae. <laughs> she is very gorgeous as well. And as you can tell, these guys are 100% strict game. There is none of my CC on them whatsoever. These guys are actually a pair of Sims that I've created for my save file. So I thought Billy Mae and Kinley K would be your perfect representation of our Pride Month and obviously June 19th to celebrate as well. So these guys I'm going to be playing with in game and I can't wait to show you guys more about them. And I'm going to obviously add them up to the gallery once they're done like play wise. That way they can already have like their career and some traits and obviously I just found out and I, I don't know why I always forget this, but you cannot set as like girlfriend on here. Like it goes straight from household member to wife. Like there's no in between. You're either my BFF and my roommate or you're my wife, like ball and chain. There is nothing else. Like you can't go from even a little bit of engagement. You can't do a girlfriend and boyfriend situation. You can't do anything. But that totally sucks because it's like, ah. <laughs> so to introduce you into Kenley K. Kenley K is a very alluring and obviously she wants to find her soulmate, which is obviously she did in college where they both attended. They both did drop out because they wanted to pursue their interior decorator skills. And they're like, why do we need to go to college for this? We can literally just get a job off the streets. So she is a romantic sim and she is a perfectionist when it comes to her job, especially that's why she's ambitious. So as you can tell by her clothing, she's definitely more relaxed with her clothing. She has always had like a low maintenance kind of style to her. She's not the type that has, you know, done a lot of makeup or done a lot of extraness with her clothes. And you guys will definitely see that throughout. Now, as for her hair, I definitely feel like she likes to keep it off of her face. She does not like to keep it in her face at all. She actually hates it. And you will see a different hairstyle for her a little bit later on. She does have her ears pierced. And as you can see, definitely like nothing on her face as well. And I I freaking love this outfit when I put it on her I was like oh my gosh I cannot believe this is EA but I put on a little bit of sandals with a little bit of heel because obviously when she goes into people's houses I figured a little bit of heel would be a good thing she's got a really pretty watch and look at her jeans I like this because you know there's no butt crack showing so it's really really good and then this is her look I don't even have cast columns in here guys like legit like I don't have anything look I can scroll through in like two seconds <laughs> so this is her formal wear. So this is actually the wear where you can actually get to see a little bit more of her style. As I said, she's very relaxed, low key kind of a dresser. Definitely kind of got like these like granny shoes on, which I think are actually pretty cute. Now, if we zoom in on her face, this is like her natural color. She has a beautiful brunette. And I feel like for formal wear, I definitely feel like Billy over here put some makeup on her like, babe, you need to put some makeup on because you are smoking. So this is what she looks like with her formal. And then really quickly, here is her athletic wear. As you can tell, very cute. We put it up for that one. And this is her Naughty Night outfit. As you can tell, I definitely wanted to keep her still more relaxed with her attire. And then party wear. Now, bam, girl came to play. Now, I definitely feel like Billy had to say so in what she wore in this. Obviously, this is still like her like pants, she's like more kind of like relaxed, but this is definitely like Billy's top. She's like, babe, here you go. Here's your top. <laughs> Here's her swimwear, very, very cute. And then hot weather wear. Oh my gosh, when I seen this, I was like, yeah, this is perfect. This is beautiful. This is gorgeous. So this is her outfit and her little shoes. Oh my gosh, I think I even had some like this. What were they called? They weren't Tom Toms. Oh, I don't know what they were called, but I remember having a pair almost like that as well. 
And then here is her code weather wear. And as you can tell by her little watch right here, she has it on every outfit th that she can, except for like sleepwear and I think athletic wear. This is like her one heirloom that she got from her mother and her mother actually passed away when she was early on. So she wears it every single time that she goes out or does anything. So she's very, very stinking cute. And now is the fun part. So this is what she looks like, obviously with just EA. We are gonna go ahead and we're gonna apply some honey skin details. Oh my gosh, my girl is already like coming to life. I mean, just look at it. Look how good it makes her like already like she's gorgeous as is but holy crap i just love how it looks good so i'm just gonna keep those lashes on her and now we got some a blue boo blush that we're gonna pop on her as well and oh oh my gosh just so pretty i even thought about cheating it a little bit and adding some of my own like lipstick because i found out that there's not like really a good lipstick for sims in the pack or any of the packs. So that's where I was struggling at. And I didn't even add the contacts. You guys should be very, very proud of me. Like kudos to me and the eyebrows. I don't even think I touched their eyebrows at all. Like I was like really pleased with them. So this is what she looks like now with her gorgeous, gorgeous nest. So ah, I'm so excited. All right, next up is Billy May. Now you can tell by Billy May's style. She very much loves pink. Pink is definitely her favorite color. In fact, the only she's the only one that I went ahead and put some likes on, and that is color-wise, she loves pink. Like she is pink alicious. Now, as for Kinley, I didn't put anything for her. But our girl Billy loves pink. I always feel like she was the type that fantasized about Barbie when she like wanted to grow up. She's like, I want to be Barbie. So she went and got her lips done, as you can tell, um, <laughs> straight out of high school. And obviously they were botched, but she's still rocking with it. And she kind of covers it up with this bright pink lipstick. So I definitely feel like she's like thinking, well, if I wear this bright pink lipstick, like no one's going to be able to tell me, you know, that my lips are botched. But she freaking loves pink a lot. <laughs> So this is her, definitely an edgy, more girly kind of Sam. I really, really did want to pull this through. I actually thought about making Miss Kinley a little bit more edgy as well, but then I was like, you know, I really, really, really like Kinley as the way she is, more down to earth than everything else. But Billy May, she is a Gregorious Sam who wants to be a friend of the world. So she is a little bit of a hothead. Obviously, she was bullied growing up because obviously her lips were, you know, really little. So she can, you know, show her temper a little bit. And she is outgoing and she is very family oriented. Now, her mother and her father actually passed away when she was younger. And that's really what these two bonded over. So her grandparents obviously did raise her. And that's where the family orientation comes through is because she loves her grandparents and she's obsessed with them and anything else. Our girl is smoking, smoking cute. I really did love her a lot. So, so stinking much. So this is her look. And then this is her formal wear. Now her hair did change, which I really did like. And as you can tell, like she's got a shaved head and the other ones you really couldn't tell. But I kind of feel like there's so much hair up here that when she plops it down, maybe, you know, especially that kind of puts it up that you can really tell the shavedness on this side. So it was the one that I found that was really, really stinking close to it. And obviously she is definitely rocking this outfit like 100%. It just looks so good on her and I was so impressed. And this is her athletic wear. This is her sleepwear, again, with a little bit of pink, still kind of sexy, definitely still her speed. This is party wear. Now this one has definitely got a little bit of pink in it, but a lot of blue. And I freaking loved it so much. I feel like she would definitely wear it with the back because she would think that's like really, really stinking cute. And as you can see, her lips follow her wherever she goes. Now swimwear, I did change up her hair a little bit because the rest of the hairs wasn't long enough and it kind of looked weird. So this is the one where you can kind of see, and again, and pink just follows her wherever she goes. And this is her hot weather wear. I really love it so stinking much. And these glasses were so stinking cute. I love them so much. So I definitely wanted her to have just a little bit of an accent with the pink and it just looks so freaking cute. And I love her hair as well. Now, finally, the last one that you guys will get to see is her hot weather wear. So this is it, very cute. And obviously they have the same shirts on. And then as for her little bottoms, I wish you can change that to like a different color. I would totally have done that. But yeah, I think it just looks really, really cute. And that is Little Miss Billy May. So let's go ahead and we will apply some beautiful skin details on her so you guys can kind of see what she's gonna look like. Just that little bit. I mean, oh my gosh, like you've seen it, it's crazy. 
it is crazy how much it literally helps your sims now i feel like she's a type that would like go big or go home so i'm gonna put a bunch on her and then obviously we'll put some blue blue blush on her as well and oh not that much a little bit less okay there we go and it is conflicting a little bit there we go that one's good with her freckles and i'm oh my gosh you guys so freaking cute oh okay i love her so stinking much so now that you have met the ladies it is time to go plop them into the world and we will actually make them girlfriends once we get into there so let's go ahead and do that i'm definitely thinking that they moved in and literally they spent all their money on purchase in the house so they're going to come in and probably just have like a toilet a shower and everything that comes like in a typical house and then obviously they're going to go and get like a blow up mattress maybe like a rinky dink couch and it's like their goal to obviously renovate their own place as they're renovating like other people's places and they can kind of see like ooh, okay i definitely like this in this person's house or i like this in this person's house so okay i mean it doesn't look too bad but there is a bunch of stuff that i actually do want to get rid of i am thinking that we get rid of some of these lights I definitely want to get rid of these lights and the wallpaper we will 100% keep I am going to get rid of that as well and even probably the dining table I just don't think that they would have purchased a dining table like right now as for the kitchen oh there's just so much to do I can see them like 100% wanting to change it up but we just don't have the funds to do that just yet I definitely want to try to keep it as minimalist as possible and oh my gosh just look at all this Oh my gosh guys i'm excited because i've been dying to play with some of the new items and just add stuff i am going to however add a lot of lights because i want us to be able to see <laughs> and then obviously whenever we get more money and situations like that i will go ahead and add a lot more different things to it all right so here is the upstairs bedroom and oh my gosh this is exactly what i'm talking about like this is what i feel like would be in here like them using this crate like as a little lamp and everything this is what I feel like it would be. Now, as for their showers and stuff, I think that's fine. Like, they would probably have that in theirs. And I'm going to get rid of the dresser and I'm going to get rid of this because they would not have it. And the bed is perfect, actually. That is beautiful. <laughs> I am going to actually take this same basic wallpaper and I'm going to put it upstairs because I don't think that the place would have, like, all that fancy stuff with it so this looks really really good as is now let's see here they would need at least a little bit of a chair to sit on and i am thinking oh where's that i wish there was like one that like was really really like run down like really really bad maybe just this burlap couch we'll just put it and that's like the only thing that they made maybe they made it or something it definitely needs some help it definitely looks like a barn it looks like a barn up top and then like somebody put this crappy extension on it so as for their monies i'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna give them like a hundred bucks so there we go i mean they're already like girlfriends but hey we're just gonna pretend like she's like hey oh my gosh i'm so excited we're in our brand new house look at her blushing and everything oh my gosh these guys are so stinking cute i love them so now that they're officially that we need to go ahead and enroll them into their jobs minimum gig pay is six hundred dollars what oh my goodness that's a lot of money Having people skills and some artistic vision will lead to a bright future and possible recognition. You may start small with some simple house renovations, but eventually with enough hard work, bigger clients and buildings could get you a recognition you deserve. That Billy May is the one that goes in and like has this vision of what it's going to look like. And she's like more, you know, the, ooh, this needs a pillow or this would look good with this color and like coordination and stuff as our girl over here kenley is a type that is definitely more the people person definitely like oh hey guys how are you doing you like this do you like that so they're like the dynamic duo they're gonna like be bringing in the box like together so one person that cannot obviously do it without the next so let's actually go ahead and oh wait how do we, i actually forgot how you do this is it just here oh yes look for gigs okay so let's look for a gig this starts Monday. Oh my gosh, at 9 a.m. Okay, well, that's fine. It's tomorrow. 
and that's the only one that is available to us unless until we get more. So the client name is the Charm Family. And oh yeah, I made a whole new save file for these guys. I thought it would be kind of funny if we go in and we redo everybody's EA typical builds. So I think the Charm Family is the one that's in Glamour Book. I'm pretty sure. And it's the one that is like, needs a lot of help. So this is a residential type. It doesn't tell me, oh, it just says room renovation. Hmm. It doesn't say anything else. It just says a room. So I guess we could do any room. So, okay, she's going to do that. And I don't think Kinley can do one. I'm pretty sure she'll have to wait. And that's totally fine. Like, ooh, a bathroom addition? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. That's totally fine. They'll bring each other. We'll go together and it'll be perfectly fine. Flip those flapjacks. Toss that sauce. Kinley is in her element. Does she want to gobble up this opportunity to embrace that she likes cooking? Yeah, she loves cooking. Like, have you seen her hips? Mmm. <laughs> oh my gosh like look billy may is over here like i cannot wait for my job tomorrow she's like yes girl i'm baking us a cake and we're gonna have a good time and then it's like ding dong your freaking people are over here like they're ruining your brigade and they brought you some dang gourmet fruit cake but it's okay. And you know what? We got cake brewing over here. Oh my gosh. The welcome wagon is literally downstairs. Just having a little chit chat with himself. While my girls are literally up here getting ready to woohoo in the shower. Of all places, they're just like, no. We're not going to woohoo in this nasty dinky dink bed. We're going to go in here and woohoo in this pretty nice decent shower <laughs> they've woohooed plenty of times okay this is not the first time they've done it a lot but it's the first time in the house so that's why we're gonna pretend that they're christening their house right now <laughs> oh my gosh this is just too funny like literally they've left their guests just down here chilling and they're upstairs and you know what they're fine with that they're like you guys can leave anytime now and for some reason i cannot put this dang fruit cake into the refrigerator oh my gosh please don't burn the house down <laughs> smart so smart and kinley's just like nah i'm gonna go over here and eat my fruit cake nice <laughs> seriously she has been flipping and flopping this thing like three times i hope by now that it's like overdone cooked is it eggs eggs and toast yeah mm-hmm Oh my gosh, it actually doesn't look bad for her, like, literally scalding it, like, three freaking times. Excellent quality. Dang. <laughs> you know, that is some good skills. Go ahead and clean your mess up, hon. Okay, so it says that Billy has a decorator gig in one hour. Get to the client's lot on time to chat with them about what they're looking for before the resident before starting renovations. Now, my only problem is, is it automatically gonna take us there? Or, I mean, I guess it is, right? It's automatically gonna take, take us there, I hope. I, I don't know, I've never done this before, obviously. <laughs> what? I didn't know you could send them alone. It's time for Billy to head to the client's lot. Getting there on time can be a good opportunity to get to know the client's likes and dislikes. Ready to head over. Yes, let's head out. Let's go. Let's bust a move. Oh, look at this. We're doing this ugly, ugly EA house on a nasty, gloomy day. Okay, so, wow. Okay, there's tons of rooms. Tons of rooms. I have no idea what we're going to do. This room is a whole empty room, especially with the money that we have, the budget we have. This room is lacking as well. Uh, maybe a bedroom would be kind of cute to do. There's not like a lot of space. So obviously we need to come in here and greet these people who live here. This is Emily Ernest and we have Gama, Gama, Gama Charm, who's a teenager. So how about we, oh, send Klein away. Um, no, let's not do that. Let's not do that like right away. How about we do a little friendly introduction? Oh, oh okay. Oh, wow. There's a bunch of people here. Oh, wow. There's there's a whole like kitten caboodle over here and we keep getting dismissed. Like all I want to do is have a freaking friendly introduction, people. That's it. Respectful introduction. Ooh, okay. Awesome. We, they, ooh, they like the color yellow. Okay. Well, that's really good to know that they like the color yellow. I don't know anything else so far. She's like, listen, woman, I need to know a little bit more about yourself. Like, tell me, do you, what do you want? Which room do you want me to do? 
what's going on here? Like, <laughs> Susu. <laughs> oh, okay. They... This, like, mission decor. What the crap is mission decor? Is it the Batu items? Oh my gosh, they like the color orange and yellow. And we finally did it. They dislike mission decor. So I did find out that obviously hitting the get to know the option is the way to go to get to know what they want. I figured it would be like, honestly, the interior decorator options that we had to click on, but it's not. It's the get to know option in order to find out their traits. This room looks kind of like nice and quaint. Maybe we can, you know, do a little bit with it. So I'm actually going to have her go here really quickly. You can stop talking to them any day now. Um, her hot headed traits got 24 minutes left, but it's like rare and it's like right there. It's like, let me come out. <laughs> All right. So here is our before photo right here. We're going to take, um, two of them, um, little photos of this one, two and three. All right. That's fine. I mean, heck it's not like that big of a place anyways. All right, good. We're doing a pretty darn stinking good so far. We do need to send them away and then we can get started. All right. So we sent them away and literally they just disappeared. Now we can actually go into the place and redecorate it. I want to know what the heck is mission decor. Oh, okay. So those are the items that we can't use, which is totally fine with me. Mm, interesting. <laughs> okay. So first things first, let's sell some things because hopefully that will help. And I realize that there's not much lighting in here. I think I'm actually going to keep this finally finished the room. I figured out that it's actually these like little things that you have to have for the clothes. I put a bunch, a bunch of yellow and orange. Like I definitely, like you can see like orange, yellow. I try to use as much of the new items in the pack as we could. I don't think the rug came with this one. I think I try to use a little bit different, but oh my gosh, all this came with it. It looks so good. We got a llama. We got like these little paint sets. Maybe like, that's her like work that she left. Like here, here's some samples. Like, you know, I know you like painting. So maybe that would be like really cool to like, leave behind. This is a new curtain that came with it. And we have the new bed and the end tables. I gave her a desk or them, whoever, I don't know. I just pictured it was the teenage girl that was living in this room because that's what I styled it for. We have the whole thing. We added in some crazy artworks and I just really kept it simple and really cute. You can see that I am definitely below the budget. So I'm actually really excited to see what they think. I could give her a laptop. <gasps> I think a laptop came with it, didn't it? Didn't we get a new laptop that came with it? I'm pretty sure we did. Let me see. <gasps> this one. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. That would put us over. Object is currently locked. Oh, that's unfair. I'm actually going to switch out the rugs. I'm going to put this one in and we're going to get rid of that one. Oh, that's cute. All right. I like that a little bit more, but oh my gosh, I can't believe it did that to me. Okay. Let's add in maybe some of these guys. Like, you know, I feel like these are like for shoes and for all kinds of like purposes, especially in this house. I feel like storage might be a really good thing for them. So I'm going to add in just a few like that. We can even go ahead and add this little guy in there. Maybe a little night light. There you go, honey. There you go. Now that puts us a little bit more up in range, but still we have a lot we could do a lot. And I don't think I'm going to do that much. I think I'm fine with just how it's looking. It's very cute. And honestly, I wish I could use this because I freaking love this. I adore this, but I don't think we have anything that's like it, but you know what? It might not be their color, but I'm going to use it. And there we go. Okay. We're done. We're done with the room. See, look at that. Look how much different that already looks. I think I want to back it out just a hair bit more so I can try to get just a little bit more into it. Oh, one, two, and I think that was two. There we go. And one, two, and three. Okay. We took our after photos. We're doing so good. Call clients a lot. There we go. Beautiful. Now our photos are ready. So this, this, um, and this, and this. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so crazy just because there was no lights. Oh wait, what are we doing? What are we doing wrong? Not enough before and after photos selected. I mean, okay, whatever. We'll just do that. This, 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 this. There. 
<laughs> it's literally the same photo. It's not that big of a space, but hey, it's fine. I can't wait to get the reaction though. Oh my gosh, they came so quick. Reveal renovated space, so much objects, clap with chi <laughs> clap with chance and ask client for their final verdict. Okay. So um reveal space. How do we reveal their space? How do we do this? Is it gonna tell me how to do it? Reveal okay, there we go. So you had to click on the person and then hit it. Okay, not what I was expecting. <gasps> so cute. Look at the little stars that she had. Oh my gosh. Look at them. Okay, this is exciting. Where are you guys going? What? What? That? How did? We didn't even... <laughs> we didn't even do anything. Billy has completed the gig and has received the following results. Professional reputation improved? I didn't even get to say if they liked it. Money earned was $648. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm going to stay on the lot for a little bit. I didn't even, I didn't even get to show off anything. I didn't get to do anything. Well, that went nicely. The clients seemed to really like the new layout. The keen eye for details seemed to really pay off both in simoleons and reputation. I mean, that kind of blows. Hmm. Okay. Well, that, that's not cool. <laughs> I need to take my before and after photos myself, but that definitely does stink. <sighs> go ahead and end it right here i think that was a good point to stop it at let me know if you guys want to see more of kinley and billy maybe even do a little bit more and obviously next time we'll follow kinley into hers as well in fact before we actually do say our goodbye let's get kinley her next gig lined up so we can see what we're going to do with it as well all right so it looks like ooh, okay there's one $540 and it's at the uh, Parhardis house. Why does that sound so familiar? Is that the one that I wanted to move them into? I think so. I think it's th the one that's literally like right next door. The one that has like the, the male and like the two girls and another male. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. And it starts tomorrow at nine o'clock. $540 and their budget is the same. So maybe it's definitely a little bit more. Mm, okay. Very interesting. <gasps> Villa Real. Oh my gosh. So there is some really Sigworth. Oh my gosh. They want a whole new room edition. Munch. Oh my gosh. This is going to be so fun to get into. Oh, especially the kids room. I'm dying to do a kids room. But we'll do Kenya obviously tomorrow and we'll go with her and we'll go see what they want to do. But I hope you guys are loving this little mini series. It's not going to be long at all. I'm kind of hoping that maybe we will get like their house like lined out. Maybe like a little cottage style. Maybe get them a little bit more career based. I'm thinking... I don't know. It depends on how this episode goes. It depends on how people are liking it. I'm going to think about five or ten episodes and literally that's probably going to be it for them just because I feel like after a while it's going to be repetitive. I mean definitely like the clients is going to change but like the rooms are still the same and especially if it has like this glitch that it just did where I didn't get to do anything and show them off or do anything that much like that's the part that's going to drive me literally absolutely crazy because I feel like that was like taken away from me like hardcore like <laughs> like I'm gonna have to go make my own like before and after photos when I edited this out <laughs> just so I can see the big difference but if you are new to my channel make sure you do hit the subscribe button because it does just help our little village to grow make sure you're commenting down below tell me what you guys think about the pack have you guys done a lot with it is it really buggy or is it just like a flaw that maybe is just happening to me because it totally could happen but I love you guys so stinking much and remember you are loved you are appreciated and you are gorgeous I hope you guys are having an amazing day, and I'll see you real soon. Bye, guys. Mwah. Bye, friends.